Uh, last fall, I said that the only reason we're even talking about a payroll tax break or an extension of unemployment benefits is because the president's economic policies have failed. Uh, I still believe that to be the case today. Uh, the agreement that's been reached uh, to stop a tax hike on middle-class uh, Americans is a fair agreement and one that I support. I want to thank uh, Chairman Camp and, and all of our conferees for all the work and effort they've put into this bill. But let's be honest, this is an economic relief package, uh, not a bill that's going to grow the economy and create jobs. Uh, tomorrow is the third anniversary of the President's uh, stimulus bill, and yet another reminder that we need to change course and focus on pro-growth economic policies and the types of bills uh, that for months Republicans have been passing over to the United States Senate. You know, in December, the White House famously said that extending the payroll tax cut was the last must-do item on the President's agenda. According to the White House, when he signs this bill, he's finished. Now, for those of you who haven't noticed, the President checked out uh, last Labor Day and has been unengaged uh, in leading our country ever since. It's been a uh, one a nonstop uh, campaign trip uh, after another. So he can campaign all he wants, but the Republicans are going to stay focused on jobs and the types of pro-growth policies uh, that will help small businesses grow and put Americans back to work. Listen, you all know we've passed nearly 30 jobs bills, all passed with bipartisan support, sitting in the United States Senate uh, waiting for action. And if we really want to get our economy going again and put Americans back to work and have no need for an economic relief package, uh, the President ought to be pushing the, the Democrats in the Senate uh, to move these bills because many of them will pass with bipartisan support in the United States Senate as well. Listen, we've made it clear uh, that we want to work with the President on jobs uh, to help move our country forward. And unfortunately, the White House has made clear that the President uh, is finished with governing uh, for the balance of his term. So we're left with policies that not only aren't helping the economy, uh, but they've made it worse. Unemployment's been above 8% uh, for three straight years. Uh, gas prices have more than doubled since the President took office. The national debt uh, now tops $15.3 trillion. Uh, but where's his vision for how to repair all of this? Uh, he could have outlined it in his budget submission this week. And yet the President just did nothing more than kick the can down the road once again. Listen. Uh, this White House isn't serious about facing the serious challenges that face our country. And for the sake of our country, let's hope that the President changes course uh, and begins to work with us in a bipartisan fashion uh, to address these policies uh, that clearly have failed. Lastly, on our energy and infrastructure jobs bill, uh, I'm pleased with the progress that we've made this week, uh, even with the payroll conference report uh, being added to the schedule. Listen, instead of more gimmicky stimulus spending or pork-laden bills of the past, uh, this bill would permanently remove uh, government barriers to job creation and support improving America's roads and bridges. And as I told our members yesterday, given the volume of amendments and our commitment to a full, fair, and open uh, debate on this, uh, it's clear we won't finish this package this week. There been more than 300 amendments filed, and we're going to give our members to, uh, the chance uh, to participate in the debate, and we'll work to finish this bill after the recess.